Hello and good morning. Um, I'm Rochelle at Confident Dreaming with Rochelle Marquez and I welcome you to my every Monday magical Monday message for you. And today is You've Got a Friend in Me. I love Toy Story. Like I was in high school when it came out. I got the sheets, which makes me laugh because there's that line in the first one, who brought bread sheets? And Toy Story, like everything Toy Story. It was awesome. I have not seen number four, so no spoilers below, please. I am waiting to take my son, who was out of town this weekend, so I will probably see it on Tuesday, maybe later today. But um, the whole theme through the, at least the first three movies is about friendship. It's about um, savoring the small moments, especially in number three, like... Uh, because Andy's older, so the toys, like any moment they get with him, they they really savor. And it's about friendship through thick and thin, admitting when you've been wrong. Um, like especially in the first one when Buzz shows up and Woody's so jealous of the attention Buzz is getting. And it's like, and that jealousy, like nobody wants to be around Woody when he's like that. And isn't that true? Like when we're in a... In a we're, we're in this, I won't say a bad state, but when we're jealous, like, we put off this energy and nobody wants to be around that. And eventually, Buzz and Woody become best of friends. And it just took Buzz realizing what he was, a toy, and Woody realizing that it's okay to not be a favorite and not to blame somebody else for it. And he became good friends with Buzz as well. And then number two... And number three are very much adventure movies. And it just all came together in number three with with duty and friendship. And oh, I just love them. And I still cry in number three. I rewatched them all last week. And uh, three's, t uh, I mean, they these movies totally revolutionized uh, computer animation, I believe. And just as Snow White revolutionized animation in 1937 these revolutionized computer animation in 1995 um, so anyways you've got a friend in me is the title of today's post and it's just to know you have a friend in me and friendship is so important it is to cultivate a tribe around you you can be part of an online tribe and you will meet people in there I have. There's some people I feel like I'm super close friends with that I've never met in real life. Um, there has been some like online Facebook groups where I ended up meeting people later and they're awesome and friends to this day. And then there's the ones I've made through my life from, excuse me, from grade school, um, just through work, through just getting out. And excuse me, meeting meeting people, becoming parts of like bunko groups or workout groups. You never know where your next bestie will come from, and you hold them tight. Like there are friends. My friends feel a diff fill a different need in me, and there are people I follow online that fill a need in me. And creating a tribe and having one around is is what we need. And on that note. I would love it if you joined my Facebook community, Creating Your Magical Life, where if you've been following me on my regular page, I'm going to start diving into more starting next week. And also, I'm announcing today, I've been writing, not finished yet, but soon, a transformation course. It's a 12-week course. I will be running a beta test for free in July. So comment below or send me a DM if you would like to get on the email list. I really need people to hop on and and give it a go and really try it and that way I can have feedback and adjust the course content and also I'm being certified in energy work so if you take this course you will get at least one most likely two to three energy readings from me so I can practice you can get some super cool value that will all be free as a thank you from me for trying this course out and I would I love it. It's um, Disney based, of course. Well, not based, Disney influenced. Um, it's becoming your own fairy godmother or being your own fairy godmother. 
I played with the title a couple times and I haven't looked at it in a while, but it's creating magical transformations in your own life. Um, maybe it's be your own fairy godmother. Anyhow, working on it, still not quite finished, uh, six weeks in out of the 12 and I'm on the last hard science week and it's all on mindset and there are um, mammalian versus reptilian brain and uh, reticular activating system. It won't be that deep of science, but I want to make sure I get it right for you. And it's all on how we can go at life with and create the life that we want. And it has to do around some of that. So I'm super excited to share that with you. And again, join my group, Creating Your Magical Life. I would love to see you in there. And have a great day. I think that's it. Yeah, I may pop in later this week. I don't know. But have a wonderful day.